Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out products that claim to shield your makeup. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos. My channel has hit 1.7 million subscribers, so I'm trying to get it to at least 2 million by the end of this year. That's my big goal, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. To everyone that have subscribed, thank you for all the love and support, and thank you for watching my series. For today's episode, I'll be trying out three makeup shield products. You may have seen some of these online on Instagram or even Facebook. The first one is the Direct Silk Face Shield Patch. This is from a brand called Pharma Maker. When this product is coated on the skin, your skin is protected from contaminants. And once it dries, you can apply your sunscreen and even makeup on top. Next up, we have the April Skin Fixing Shield. This is a fixing eye shield that stops makeup from smudging or smearing throughout the day. You could use this on your eyeshadow, your eyeliner, mascara, and even your eyebrows. And finally, we have another April Skin product. This is the Lip Fixing Shield. It claims to fix and prevent lip color from smearing or smudging throughout the day. You can apply it over any lipstick and it should lock the color in. So all those products seem pretty interesting. I feel like Makeup Shield is like a new trend at the moment. All these brands are coming out with things that supposedly lock and secure your makeup, making it waterproof. So let's test it out. I think I'm gonna start off with the Direct Seal. For this product, you're meant to apply it on clean skin and over areas that are a bit more like troubled or problematic. For instance, I've got like a pimple here. So if you don't want makeup to really get on it and get all sticky and gross, then you can apply that on top. Even like sensitive areas, you can apply it on. I've seen people apply it to a very large area as well. So that could work, but keep in mind, you don't really get a lot of product in this. The idea of this is that it creates like a protective layer. So if you apply makeup on top, it doesn't actually touch the skin underneath. So hence like you're not gonna get all like contaminated or bacteria in on your skin where you have acne or problematic areas. So it's supposed to protect it and shield it. So the product comes out in a clear film and it's like super thick and sticky, you guys can see. And I'm gonna apply a small amount over this little pimple here. Happened to be right on the edge of my lip too, how annoying. The product doesn't smell very nice, it smells kind of herbally. And I'm also going to apply a bit here to just do like a patch test, a big area. I really wonder if, you know, you can really apply makeup and it would be virtually invisible. You know, my concern is maybe like, you can see the edges or your makeup base won't be as flawless. Apparently you're supposed to apply it really thin, so I've done that around that area. I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe you can see it's a little bit shiny on that area, but I just applied it just to this area here. Whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to apply foundation on this half of my face first. That way when I apply on this side, I can compare the side with the shield and without the shield. I feel like this side is dry now. It feels kinda kinda weird. It feels much more stiffer on this side. Yeah, it's definitely dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation over it. To be honest, I think I can really tell that I have it underneath my foundation. Next I'm gonna go in with concealer like I normally would. So that's my base done. I've applied it like how I normally would. This is the side without the shield. This is the side with the shield. I'll give you a closer look here. I can see the edge starting to lift. And I believe it's because it's an area where, you know, because I'm constantly talking and moving my mouth, it's lifted that area up. But in saying that, the rest of this has kind of pretty much stayed. It hasn't really moved too much. When I look extremely close at that area, I can see it is a little bit cakey on this side compared to the side with no shield. It just kind of looks like I have maybe a bit more like dry skin or maybe a pat patchy area there so it doesn't sit flawlessly. With where my pimple is, I don't feel like it's lifted or anything there. I just still see a raised bump. But I guess because I didn't apply a lot of product and it's not like a big area, um, it didn't really lift. So maybe if you have 
acne spots, like small acne spots, it's good to just like spot shield it instead of using it like on a bigger area because I feel like because you're talking and moving your face around, it could lift like that. I do like the concept of the shield, especially for those who are worried that makeup will clog up the skin or cause them to break out even more. I like the concept of it. So that's shield number one put to the test. Should I peel it off now? This should be like the fun part, right? This is what I see on the Instagram videos. People just like peel their skin off. Oh. Wow, that's actually pretty satisfying. So that's the product that I just peeled off. It's actually quite thin and it kind of looks like I peeled off my skin, but that's just the gel. Yeah, I feel like it came off all in one go and the skin underneath is still quite clean. I think that was the most enjoyable part about the product, just peeling it off. It's really satisfying and you can hear like the noise of it coming off. I might just patch this up and then move on to the next makeup shield. Next we have the April Skin Fixing Shield. With this product you have to shake it up before you use it. I'm really interested to see if this product will actually work. How it works is you're supposed to just apply it over your eyeshadow, your eyeliner, your mascara and even your brows. And apparently it's supposed to lock it in. So I'm going to apply it on this eye to see if it actually holds my eyeshadow. I've just used like normal eyeshadow so it's not like waterproof or anything, so this will put it to the test. I hope this doesn't ruin my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. And just use it to coat my lashes, see if it holds mascara in place. And finally over my brows. I'm just gonna let that dry now. Oh, my eye actually feels so weird. I feel like it's really stiff and like, Sticky almost. Time to put it to the test. I've got some like clean white cotton wipes here. I'm going to wipe over this eye to see if any of the eyeshadow comes off. And I'm gonna do the same with the eye that I didn't apply any of the makeup shield. So this side will definitely rub off. So let's start off with this side actually. You can see that the eyeshadow has definitely transferred and even some of the eyeliner has rubbed away. Let's do the same with my brows. Some of it has come off, so you can see there. Definitely does transfer. Time to try this side out. Some of it has transferred, but to be honest, it stayed a lot better than this side. I might just go again with my brows. Comparing the two sides, the side that I didn't apply the shield definitely transferred a lot more than this side. The side that I put the shield on, it still transferred a little bit, but a majority of it still stayed. Does it look as good? Not really, but there's more color on this side. I guess this product does work. It does definitely hold the colors and your like eyebrows and mascara and eyeshadow there. However, it does change, you know, the formula and how your eyeshadow looks. So if you're gonna use this, I could probably use it on a very simple eye makeup. You know, if you're just doing one color, um, maybe that's better instead of doing like a smoky eye. Today I've used a few colors, so it kind of changed it a little bit. Now let's test out the final makeup shield. This is the April Skin Fixing Lip Shield. With this product, you can apply it over any lipstick. So I'm going to apply it over this lipstick I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the 3CE lipstick in 114 Rose. I'm going to use a Q-tip and pop a few drops in there. It's actually really liquidy. I didn't expect it to be so runny. So I'm going to apply it to half of my lips. Actually, that totally failed because the, the Q-tip absorbed it all. I think I'm just going to apply it directly onto my lip. I was expecting more like a lip gloss or a lip gel. Now to put it to the test, I'm going to use a Q-tip to wipe over my lipstick. Even though this lipstick is matte, it does still transfer and move. So let me just show you on the side that I didn't apply the shield. You can see the transfer on the Q-tip. It's definitely not smudge proof. Now to test out the side with the shield on. That was absolutely pointless, it still moved. I didn't expect it to come off just like the other side. 
Maybe it's just like more transfer proof. Let's see. I don't know what happened there. I feel like both sides still transferred. Am I like using this wrong? It says a lip shield that fixes and prevents lip color from smudging or smearing. Well, it didn't work for me, so yeah. Okay, so I've tried all of them. Some of them worked better than others, and it's time for the verdict. I think out of the entire three Makeup Shield products, I like the Direct Seal the best. I feel like this product does what it claims to do. I just feel like you just need to be careful with it around you know, smile lines or areas that you're constantly moving your face because it can kind of lift it. And I really like peeling it off, so that was really satisfying. Out of all the products, I feel like I would definitely use this product again. Like I said, if I have like little breakouts, I'll definitely put this on and give it a go because you know, when, when you're trying to like cover up pimples with makeup and concealer, it can kind of make them worse. So it's always nice to have a little shield to protect it. So in saying that, I'm gonna rate this a seven out of 10. Next, we have the Fixing Eye Shield. I feel like it does reduce the amount of like product that gets smudged and smeared. Um, but in saying that, I don't really like how it feels in my eye. It's a bit too sticky and stiff for my liking. And I don't think I'll find a really good use for this because if I really wanted waterproof eye makeup, maybe I'd use you know something more long wearing like waterproof cream eyeshadows or something. So hmm, for me, I'll probably rate this maybe like a five out of 10. I'm really in the middle with this one. It's not like a bad product and it's not the best product. And finally, we have the Fixing Lip Shield. I honestly don't know what went wrong with the, the test with this product. I honestly thought this one would work the best out of all the three because they do make products that are smudge proof for lips already. So it wasn't like a crazy new invention, but um, in saying that, it just it just didn't work very well for me at all. It's a shame because I generally like products from April Skin, but I think this one is a flop. So I think I'd have to rate it like a nothing out of 10. I'm so sorry, but uh, it just didn't work for me. And I don't think I'll try it again anyway, because there are other lip like lipsticks that you don't really have to apply an extra shield to keep it in place. So that's my two cents. Sorry, April skin. But that's it to this episode of Tina Tries. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know if there's any other products you want me to try. There's like all sorts of like new quirky things happening and I see a lot of stuff on Instagram and Facebook. So if you see anything, feel free to just tag me. On Instagram, my handle is at Tina underscore Young. So just tag away and let me know what products you want me to try next. I'm running out of breath. Anyways, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.